Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So this is video for the simulating for assignment 1 electrical technology So I start So first procedure we need to redraw the circuit at Matisim So I start with the power source Resistor Capacitor And Inductor Okay, so we need to take the voltmeter and two multimeter. So let's connect. Okay, so we will be done. Okay, so we're done. So next we need to change the voltage. Okay, so we need to change the value. So first, for the R1, the value is 910. For the R, for the inductor, 2 and 3. and one micro okay so at table one we just use r1 r2 and r3 so this is r1 okay so the wood at 200 volts and 60 hertz okay so how i get the result is just run the similar thing like this and open the multimeter result so this is the result of I at resistor 1 so this at voltmeter we got the result of power so this is the result of power and also power factor and I just continue the same way to do at R1 R2 and R3 so next um, next table we want to use R and L so the resistor and inductor so so this is the circuit okay with r1 
910 ohms and 2 Henry for the inductor so how I get the uh, current power and power factor I just run the similar thing and open the multimeter and I got the result for the current I open the voltmeter and I got the result for the power and also I got the result for the power factor so I just use the same way to do to R2 and L2, R3 and L3 like this so ni R2 and L2 so this is the result of current this is result for the power this is result for the power factor so next table 1.3 we use uh, R and C resistor and capacitor so uh, so this is the circuit ok so this circuit so we have R1 and we have uh, C1 capacitor so I just run the similar thing and open the multimeter and I got the result for the current I open the voltmeter and I got result for the power so this and also I got the result for the power factor so here so I use the same way to do for the R2, C2 and R3, C3 so this is the circuit for R3 and C3 so this I got the current for R3, C3 the power and also the power factor ok so that's how I simulating the multi-sim for the assignment 1 thank you